Capture the flag. Flag reset. The Halo Capture the Flag helmet. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is the second helmet that we're breaking into on this channel. It has to be after my favorite team, okay? Everybody's got their side, red versus blue. I'll always be team blue. And this is the perfect resemblance of my team. I also saw some people quite upset that there's no red helmet in this set. First of all, hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Day 2 of our helmet Triforce, our trilogy of helmets. Episode 1 we smashed straight into this oddball inspired masterpiece. Especially the fact that you use the back of the helmet as the terrain for this diorama. It comes with a little oddball helmet and if you want to see the full unboxing and review, you should definitely check it out. It's the first episode, you know, you gotta build up to the series. And it's a funny colour, like I said, a very strange colour to choose, especially when these two are gold visors, or maybe specifically a gold and a bronze, they are slightly different colours, but then to have a black one, and also to have no red helmet. Where's red team? I'll tell you where red team is, they're trying to capture the flag. Maybe once they catch the flag, this whole helmet will turn back to red. This is the second helmet in this epic little bite-sized collectible series for Mega Constructs. If you guys didn't know, we've already had helmets in the past, and these are just the brand new iteration. The old helmets came with little micro builds, which now we're actually seeing micro builds more alive than ever, so it's funny how that switched around. But now we're celebrating Halo way better than any micro build, with iconic in-game dioramas celebrating the different games modes of Halo. Today's is Capture the Flag, only 59 pieces, because it basically is just two Spartans, the flag, and a tiny bit of terrain, but that's exactly how I want it. If you want to build a bigger diorama, then be my guest. But for the price, this is all I could ask for. We can kind of see, I don't know, maybe because the visor is a different color, it looks like there's more detail on the actual helmet. The black, all the detail just sort of gets lost in the same color as the visor. But this one, it makes it look like, well, I mean, there are more colors. There's one more color. And this, ah, oh, this looks fantastic, doesn't it, guys? This looks phenomenal. It's, it's just so nice. It's just so tiny. Like I said, when I first saw the pictures of this, I thought it was too squashed, too small. But no, this is perfect. Perfect. So let's check out what's inside. I guess even, yeah, even the back is like a slightly different shade of gray, or like this is more like a cream. And then this one's brown as well, so wow, that's just another nice detail. They rocked quite a lot of those micro build helmets back in the day, and I was such a huge fan at the time. Two juicy figures tear these open. All right, so we've got some interesting armors in this one for sure. Particularly this blue one, I'm very excited to get hold of this. It's always nice with Mega Constructs when a new Master Chief mold comes out, you know, particularly with a new Halo game. It's then a matter of time until the Master Chief gets replicated across all the different color schemes. And this is the first one we've got, a blue Chief. A blue Chiefy boy. I mean, clearly not 117, but the same mold. And just thank you so much for the support on my latest videos, guys. I say it every time because I just mean it from the bottom of my heart, you know? You rally behind me with, like, everything I do. If I destroy a diorama, you're like, don't worry, you know, you guys are insane. And this is another very welcome surprise. This shock rifle is painted. You don't really ever get painted weapons with anything outside of Halo Heroes or like signature sets. The occasional one, but like it's really rare. But this is a really nice surprise. Look at that Master Chief. And it's also nice that they go perfectly together. Very cool looking trailblazer. And people get really upset that like all the new armors are leaking through a toy company. I kind of get that. But also it's nice to be uh, supporters of the toy company for like 10 years and then seeing like mainstream media talking about these sets. That's also one thing that I've never understood. I don't know why all of these like YouTubers, these big ones, they're all such massive Halo nuts, but they don't collect the Mega Constructs toys. That's just a missed opportunity, fellas. But here we go, the Trailblazer. Look at that. Whoa, that metallic red is perfect and it goes so well against his blue counterpart. You guys duke it out in the background Round. We've got a set to build and that's actually quite a surprising amount of pieces. I didn't think it was gonna be that many Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Would you look at that? You get both flags Yes <laughs> And they're transparent. Whoa What the heck? That's wow, that's sweet. 
I, I can't believe that actually. I didn't think you got both flags. That is sweet. Good job, Mega Constructs. What do we think? Is it gonna be red flag or blue flag? I guess it's blue base, so it'll be blue flag that red team is stealing. Looking really swell. And I hope you guys join me tomorrow for the final helmet unboxing. I left good old Chief till last. Yesterday I did the yellow helmet, and then the day before I did the marine platoon pack. So I have been busy. That's one down, nice fusion coil, nice silver. Oh, okay, this is like a proper little flag display stand. I try very hard to stay away from most news. Like obviously I'm on top of like the new toy information. But past that, I like to be surprised on my videos. That's like the primary thing. I did watch the green helmet review by Demarcation Media, which you should definitely check out. I'm gonna be interviewing him in the next week. So you guys will wanna catch up on his channel first. Look at that, we've never had a flag looking that good. We have never had a flag looking that good. That is the finest looking flag. This side of Halo Infinite. Woo, that's great. And then it also comes with another peg. You can attach this peg in the back of the torso to attach a weapon into, which is also great. And I guess we'll have blue team defending their flag against the oncoming red team assault. He's swinging on that flag. I couldn't resist swinging him on that flag. I'm wondering how 343 is planning to spice up a load of these old game modes when Halo Infinite launches. Only time will tell. My Oh my, I am so impressed with that set. Like I'm genuinely quite speechless on how good that looks, especially these translucent flags. They are something else. These two figures look epic. This helmet looks epic. Obviously the terrain is super limited, but it's even arguably better than the oddball one. I mean, this flag, I've never seen the flag be supported like on four sides like that. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of it. So let's take one last little closer look at these figures. All right, folks, first we've got this blue Master Chief. John117 got a blue paint job and it's working for him. That shock rifle being painted on two sides is a really cool touch. I didn't expect that at all, but the metallic, the metallic, I mean, Mega Constructs, you've been rocking that metallic. And I think the community is telling you that you've been doing a really good job uh, with, with your color choices in general this year. Everything's been spot on. Wow, very nice. And then we've got the brand new Spartan. Here's our trailblazer. I mean, the helmet is very detailed. It's got these nice dark gray stripes all the way around, which are a slightly different color to his jumpsuit, but it's nice. And then the assault rifle with the slide on scope on the top and this flag that oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I never thought that I wanted translucent flags until now, which I absolutely do. You captured both flags there, but game over for you, you won. The masks, the helmets, these great little collectible pieces that look phenomenal on your display. Whether or not you wanna collect the figures, you wanna celebrate your favorite game mode, or you just wanna put those helmets on display, there is something for everyone in this set. Please do let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna get hold of this set. How much of an influence was Capture the Flag on your Halo gaming? experience and which Halo game did you play it on the most. I'll see you guys tomorrow for part three and the blue Master Chief, the blue chief, the Master Blue is signing off. Flag recovered.